Hi everyone, it's Christmas again, or at least it's close. So I'm going to show you how to make Christmas tree ornaments just like these. Welcome to Rocket Rose Art, my name is Jeff, and these Christmas tree decorations we're going to make today make fantastic little gifts for family and friends, and plus, if you go to markets, uh, they make great little things to sell there. Now, they're not hard to make, and I'm going to show you in just five steps how to make them. If you find this uh, video of help and you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the notifications and uh, press that like button. And if you think there's somebody else that can get a benefit out of this, please share the video. Now, let's get on with it. When it comes to selecting your glass, the colours you choose are totally up to you. I don't think it matters. Personally, I think you can mix any colours you prefer. My only recommendation is that the background colour you use is a plain opal colour. That, to me, gives the best contrast between your features and the background. If you use Dicro for the background, the whole thing seems to blend together. It just looks too glitzy for me. The glass I'm using today is, for the bottom, is 3mm and all the dichro is dichro on 2mm black. Now we'll be making a square one and a triangular one. The square one will be from 0212, which is olive green, and I'll use that dichro for the features on the corners, and the triangular one will be 0024 which is tomato red and I'll be using that one for the features on the corners of that. I'll go away and cut all that up and then we'll come back and choose the features for these corners and the tops here out of my scrap. And I have quite a bit of scrap and this is only a small part of it so we have a lot to choose from.
The base pieces and the corner features have now been cut and I've had a look through the dichro scrap that I've got and I've decided that on the square one I'll place a piece of this um, uh, golden textured dichro in the middle. On that I will sit a piece of this uh, pink and then on top of that a little bit of this um, crinkle dichro. Hopefully that will crinkle up nicely. And then for the corners I'll add a little piece of this dichro which has got a slight red tint. Hopefully they will keep that. For the triangular one I'm using the same dichro that I've used on the corners for the middle piece. On that again I will use a piece of the textured golden dichro and then on that a little piece of the um, crinkle dichro and then around these corners I'll cut a small piece of this golden one again and put that on. The only thing you keep in mind here is that you will at some point want to drill a hole so you need enough room out on one of these corners to drill that hole for your cord. Both pieces have now been prepared for the kiln. All the dichro features have been added. You could use glue to glue these on if you wanted but you'd have to leave it for a while to dry. I haven't because I want to get this in the kiln as soon as possible. I'll put these in the kiln and I'll be back after that to drill the holes. The ornaments have been tack fused in our kiln and you can see they've turned out really nice. This one here, I think the decorations on the corner could have been a little different but it's still nice. Now I'll um, drill a hole in one of these to show you the technique that I use to drill the hole and this is the bit that I'll be using. It's a 3mm diamond bit. See the hole in the middle that assists with grinding the hole. So all we have to do now is attach the cord. I've cut mine to about 25 centimeters long which seems to be suitable and I'll fumble through this with my big fat fingers but here we go. Simple as that. It gets a bit hard around here sometimes with all these camera hogs. That all went really well. I particularly like the triangular one, so I'm going to try a few different shapes again this year and I hope it's inspired you to do the same. If you like that video and would like to see more, there's links to a couple up here and please subscribe, that would be appreciated. And um, until the next video, I will say bye for now.